Hello and welcome back to another Demis Helen tutorial. We are going to create an acid lead preset. I'm just going to show you my thought process and workflow on creating one in Union. Been doing a lot of preset design in Union uh, recently, and don't forget that I did create the Leads One pack that is available on Soundspot.audio's website. So if you want to grab that, you can. Three of the packs on there as well: Pads One, Stabs One, and Plucks One as well. I'm actually featuring uh, one of the presets from Plucks One there by Standwick. This is playing in the background, so it's not that one, it's this one, uh, which sounds like this. Really nice sound, especially once to do some more processing on the third party side, it's going to sound really nice. Uh, this one is just a nice new preset. There is a couple of acids included in the Leeds 1 pack, but I'm just going to show you how... I make one in here and we can double up on the distortion. It's really good so you can have like a pre wavetable distortion and then a distortion on the final effects as well. Uh, but we're not going to generate a wavetable, just going to utilize the distortion in the signal path before it reaches this section here. So we're going to keep it on a saw wave and as you can hear this is what it sounds like. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to slap on some distortion. So I'm going to turn this on um, and set this to tube. I'm going to set this to about 80 hertz just to cut out some of the low frequencies. And we're going to throw the mix to 100. So now we have this. And I'm just going to turn this down so we don't blast your ears off there. Uh, let's go back. Okay, so we've got quite a bit of drive there. It's not sounding too acid -y yet. It's it's kind of getting there, but not quite yet. Uh, and then in here, we are going to shorten down our attack, uh, our decay and sustain. So we've got a nice plucky sound. It's a little bit shorter and doesn't have too much body. Uh, and then we're going to shorten this down as well so it's a bit more plucky. Uh, and we're going to use the filters here. So I'm going to set to 36. just gives it a little bit more dynamic range without it going too far. I'm going to set that to about there. Click once to assign it to the mod ADSR. If you click again, it goes to the LFO, uh, which can be used. So keep that in mind. I'll show you both ways. In fact, we'll we'll do this way first, and then we'll go on the LFO way. So here, I'm just going to bring that to about there, and suddenly we'll start to get this acid sound once we increase the resonance. <laughs> And we've still got it attached to the LFO there. So let's go back to here. There we are. So now the mod ADSR is rapidly opening and closing its cutoff between this value and this value, depending on the resonances, how acid it sounds. Okay, so it's getting there. It's it's sounding good. We're not quite there yet. So we're going to go into distortion here. And we're also going to add tube. And I'm just going to throw this to 100% as well. Drive to about 50 and then cut it off at 80 hertz-ish again. So you can hear now that it's starting to get that acid characteristic if we take this away. It's a very gentle acid. And then this has got a lot more aggression to it because we're adding a second distortion in the signal path. This is now at the end. So we can put a bit of delay on there. Let's uh, let's put eighths and eighths dotted. I think if you click three times, you get dotted. We'll put this on normal and set this to about 50. And what we're going to do is we're going to filter out using the high pass any of the low delay that kind of clutters up the sound. Sounds about right there. Perfect. So we've got two different delays happening on each side, so it gives it a little bit more width. Uh, and we can throw some reverb on there as well. So my, one of my favourites is Hall. Uh, if we turn the dampening down. Okay, so it just gives it a little bit of space to work in. Brilliant. Now, 
it's it's pretty much there. This is how I would end the preset. I'm just going to drop this one octave so you can hear how much difference it makes. Obviously, you can just drop the MIDI, but I'm just going to do it here. And there we are. So that sounds the best, that sounds really nice. And what we'll do is we'll save this preset here. So I'll go to hit save and we'll save it to here. We'll save it as, I'll put ACD uh, just so you can see that when you download ACID and we'll call this uh, Helen. 01 so that's acid helen 01 and we'll hit save on that so you can go and download that in the state that it is right now in the video uh, and then the second one will be helen 02 and what we'll do is we'll use the lfo so let's move on to the lfo now we can click here and use this we'll increase the range so it's obvious what's happening and you'll hear that this is moving quite fast and it'll sound like this <laughs> We're going to slow this down to one bar. So now we have control on how the filter opens up in house without having to automate the cutoff on the outside in the door. So let's create something quite simple. We'll create a nice slope there. Double click to add another dot. Remember, this is multiple point uh, editing, so we can do as much as we want in this space. So this is marking over the the course of one bar as it's set to here. So let's set it to, we won't set it to re-trigger. We'll just keep it as it is. So now we have this. So now it's automating between those two. So if we now set this to four bars, we can now take away a couple of these points. Let's just get rid of that one, just by double clicking again on the point. And we can have a nice rise up to say nearly full where it's marked off here. And then we can have a dramatic fall back down. And then we'll have this, I'll start it again once it starts. <laughs> And you can do that over eight bars, 16 and 32 bars respectively. So you can do that so it's a lot longer to rise. Or you can have it so it rises and falls equally on either side. point the less movement there is between these two points so it's a very gentle steady increase and then decrease so it just gives a little bit of movement and a sense of direction in the track uh, without it being really obvious that it's opening the filter up to the full capacity of that uh, setting there in the white I'll just keep it really subtle the other way to do it is you can just have that set at maximum and you can just close this gap so there's less space for it to travel so it would be subtle anyway. And there are, there are a couple of other tricks. Uh, I don't tend to use it. We can add two unison into that. So it gives it a nice stereo feel. So if you take that down to one, it's very centered two unison without any detune as you can see I've turned it down here it gives you that nice stereo width in there and you can add it in if you want but it adds a nice sense of movement and again you can 
change this to obviously adapt any of these parameters here but we're mainly focusing on the cutoff we could attach it to the resonance but then everything would be moving at the same time and it wouldn't have the same effect so there is two different ways i'll save that as acid helen o2 and what we'll do is just give them away for free so you can have a mess around feel free to share them on the demis helen uh, chat on the facebook page if you want to join the chat just find it in the link in the left hand column uh, and just ask to join and you'll be approved by a moderator uh, to join so thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video leave a comment down below hit the like button to get that out there and share with other people that are wanting to learn during these crazy times and finally hit subscribe three videos per week on various music production topics mainly focusing on trance. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.